hi guys welcome to another video so in this one, i'm going to show you guys how to read large uh files using python okay so uh let's get started so if you want to read a large file uh for instance if you want to parse a file which has uh gigas of uh size so you want to use this function okay you probably don't want to load the whole thing to the memory to the uh so your computer don't crash so let's uh get started so the file uh, let's create a string called file which is going to have the name of the file let me see if i could file okay so we have a file over here we have a file the file the, this file only has five kilobytes but you guys could use this uh for a larger file without a problem so um what what we would probably do is just do something like this so we pass the file the argument to reading and dot read lines which will read okay so this would we read the entire file into a string array or list string better saying so this is not memory efficient okay if you want to pass a parse a large or larger file uh, your computer would be pro you would probably crash so that's a better way of doing this which is using the for um loop so let's do that let's use this so we can create a for a for line and um open we could do this uh, file and the argument who is for reading so we could process uh, process process your line here so that's a very it's, it's this is the uh, most efficient way to process large files using python oh so um let's uh, print line so you guys will see that we have this we have the this because we are already have a slash n so if i want to remove the slash n i could do dot replace slash n and let's replace this by nothing so you should do this we should see this so as you guys can see we don't have uh a benchmark on how efficient this is but if you check if you try it out with uh, files which has uh, thousands of, of lines uh, five five hundred thousand lines uh, you guys should see a overwhelming difference okay because with this 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 isn't loading the whole thing to the memory so it's like processing one line at a time so it's very efficient okay so thank you guys for watching this video see you guys next time